Hello and welcome to another video. This time I want to show you my first week of new Pokemon Snap and what kind of pictures I took and what are my experiences. So we are already in the game menu and let's get right to the lab and see what we have. So first up let's go to the photo decks and check what we have. Basically yeah, till now I have around uh, or I have six different environments which I can show you and I have in total 146 registered photos as well as uh, 74 Pokemon. Basically the one for Buffaland, I have all of them. So I have a 1 star, 2 star, 3 and 4 star. The 3 and 4 star I think very easy to get in the end here for them. A good 1 star photo to catch it is very very tough I think. So if we see for example here the four star photo essentially yeah it's the one or the buffaland with the roses in the head uh, sorry the flowers in the head and then you throw an energy ball at that and then it goes up and makes this cool of uh, this cool pose basically what i find really cute because i didn't know that about them before is ducklet and swana so for ducklet i think this is the cutest photo where the mother and the two little duckies come <laughs> and swim under a bridge and basically yeah, they both look at you if you throw them an apple as we have done here below. It's a really cool photo I think. The other ones are meh, it's okay. But it's a really cool Pokemon. Swana equally I think is very cool to see. And if you see it in flight and you manage to throw something on it, it will glow and then it looks really really nice. And we get this in the park at the night. Let's see, what else did we have? Oh, we had the surfing Raichu. This, as a kid, was definitely hard to get because there was always this... It was believed to be a myth, right? Um, that a Raichu can go do surfing. And I think at some point in time they inclu included it actually into Pokemon. Um, it must have been the gold version, I believe, or even later. And it was a really cool thing. And in this one, in this... Um, Alolan form, it's surfing on its little tail. So it has an enhanced tail and then it surfs on it. And in the games, in the original games, basically it had to do have a real surfboard and it took quite some time to, to manage to do that. Just a just a cute little detail, I believed. Um, what else? Yeah, then I think most of them are quite okay. The Some I didn't know. The Sharpedo, for example, it looks quite cut off, I think, at the back. So let's go back and I think the Pokemon itself that is okay. Let's go back and I just want to show you just my my album that I recorded till now. I'm mostly in research level 3 so far, which is not really a grind. It's very easy to get and I believe with like a few runs for example in the research level 2, it's quite okayish to get and quite easy. And we see that we have only of 6 hours of playtime and around 500,000 uh, as photo scores. I took 1300 photos, yeah, which is quite okay, I think. It's not that much. I've never managed to finish up my whole film basically in one round of going. Oh, one tiny thing which I really liked is at the beginning you only have 42 photo slots. And in case you watch this video and you think, oh, I need to really manage them, five photos before you reach the 42 or before you reach this mark, basically for just 200 megabytes of uh, SD card storage or storage on your Nintendo Switch, it allows you to go to 480. So I assume that 480 photos is going to be more than sufficient, especially you, because you can dump them all onto your SD card and then import them onto your computer, for example, or into your Google Photos or OneDrive or wherever you have them. But maybe even at uh, 475 photos, Basically, you were going to be asked, hey, do you want to extend it another time? So, yeah, I think we have a lot. Okay, let's go through and see what we have here. Oh, yeah, this one is such a cute encounter. I think it's very early in the game. And basically, you have these two tiny Pokemons, which is Pichu. And I forgot the name of the other one because it's on a later version. Um, they play together in the, graph, in, the, in the grass, in the flowers. Yeah, and just have a good time. And here again we have them. This is a Tangle Growth. I only knew the, I think, unevolved version of it. 
So yeah, it's it was quite funny to see. You see the big eyes uh, just poking out of the the whole thing. In this one, I would have wished a little bit more detail with a little bit more tangles, basically, as it was in uh, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. Oh yeah, this is a really cute one, I think. Um, it's in the first park level, and when you throw an energy ball as soon as you have them on it, it's yeah trying to dance or stand on its feet and, and smiles at you and waves at you. Yeah, and there you have it again. Here it looks like it's just swimming in the water and sleeping a bit, just like a little baby would do. Oh yeah, here we have a flying Pokemon. It's really tough to get this one. So it's in the beginning of the park level, very early on, and it jumps from a tree. And it's the tree where the professor asks you to scan it, and below there are these broken apples, basically. So here we have the little one that is responsible for this. Yeah, another time the little beaver kind of uh, Pokemon, which just carries a stick through the water and builds his little dam later down the road. Yeah, and here he, he gets it also. And in the background we see Dodri with uh, one of the heads, I think, being awake and the other two are sleeping. Oh, here's my favorite one from the very early stages and very early on, which is Tortog, and I was really happy to see it. You need research level 3 for this to find it, and it's sleeping, so it took me four apples to wake it up. And then, as you can see here, it takes one apple, basically. It's very cool. I really liked it. I hope that you are able to manage that it's making something more with its little cannons, for example, like um, the hydro pump attack, for example. And here, a close-up shot of it. I think this one is really, really good. I really like it how they did it. Yeah, here we just have a flexing Mahomai. Oh, here we have these little dancing Pokemon. And when you play the music, they'll rotate. And maybe I'll find a clip, then I'll edit it here. And yeah, we, will, we see that they are rotating. It's very cute. Here we have Pikachu who's happy and that's why throw some sparks around. Again, this photo I showed you earlier, it's the four star photo of the Buffalon. Here we are being greeted by this very odd Pokemon. I have no idea where it comes from. It must have been a later version, but basically yeah, it's more human-like and greets you and has this, it seems, deep connection to nature, at least as was per the professor. Yeah, here we have <laughs> the ducklings that play with Carpador when he's in the water. Again, the beaver. Oh, this is a cool trick. You can throw the energy ball at the beavers at research level three in the park so in the very first level and then they turn around and they will like let themselves float on their back very cute it's the first bridge though you need to be really fast for this in order to find it it's not the second bridge where the ducklings and the swan are you see i'm also a fan of the raichu even though the alone form i'm not that big of a fan of i think the normal one looks quite quite better but these ones really really they are so cute here they even or we see that the pokemon go both to the apple and then the pathfinding most likely works in a way where the closer Pokemon gets the apple ultimately. And then yeah, they have num num it away and both are happy now. Oh, this is also a cool one. If you are fast enough, you can catch how he jumps into the water and this is the second level during the day. Oh, this is so cute. So in the volcano level and the first research, research level, essentially you see him running behind this little grass ball and you first see only the grass ball. So you need to be really fast, switch the camera with your digital pad and then yeah, find the grass ball and he will run behind it. He's not rolling behind it. He's really running as far as I can remember. These really look like nature, right? I mean, we know that Pokemon are just imaginary, but I think it could have been some stylized version of a, of a nature movie, right? It looks really cool. <laughs> Here, this one is so cool. So it's this boxing crab kind of thingy in the first level from the islands, basically on the lower right on your map. And yeah, he looks at you with this very odd face, which is really a cute little detail, I think. And this one is so peaceful. So we have these very large tortoises with the little eyes and the little mountain and the uh, 
tree on the back and basically Pichu and the other wood forest Pokemon, they sleep next to it. And even if you throw them an apple, none of the three is waking up. So they just continue sleeping in peace. It's a very cool little detail that they, these tiny Pokemon go to the big one to be protected also in the night, right? And when we go into research, this is what the island looks currently to me. I have a lot of research levels in these lower levels. And here I have a real problem in the sweltering sands. Yeah, I'm both level two, but essentially it doesn't continue for me. So now I need to most likely grind here a little bit and go to research level three, because I cannot believe that the volcano is basically over. And I assume that there must be way more fire Pokemon, such as Glurak, for example, or Magma or something like that. They all must be here somewhere, I assume. Okay, and with that, all I can say is it's a really nice game. It's really a lot of fun. We can play it in between. That is a really nice thing to do. And it doesn't take much time to do just one level, like hit the power button and then come back to it later to drop it down again. So with that, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the pictures. Maybe you can share your favorite moments that you experienced in the new Pokemon Snap game or even in the old Pokemon Snap game. I'm looking to get a copy of it at the moment. And with that, I hope you have a nice day. Bye.